buddy. Done, buddy. Good job. Good job. <sighs> Give me the hammer. <laughs>
ever think this side of the line belongs to us and then it sort of goes up to that tree there and then sort of around the woods to the tiny Christmas tree and then it sort of comes back this way um, our dream our end goal is to build <clears throat> an earth ship down here which is why we haven't sort of we've left it alone we haven't built down here even though it's lovely and flat um, so this the cabin I'm building now is just a temporary sort of accommodation for us until the earth ship is built um, I don't know how long I, I, like, I don't know how to build an earth ship um, it's something that I need to really sort of going to build an earth ship down here along this grass edge that's our end goal and then um, obviously the cabin we will be able to sort of generate a little bit of income from that hopefully because um, this area of Romania in Apuseni, the Apuseni mountains is very um, touristy all the all the sort of people come from the city they come here for summer breaks and winter breaks so uh, yeah there's quite a lot to do around here in terms of like caves and stuff like that that people like to do anyway day two of the wall building I'll show you in a minute what we've what we've done you ready <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> so like I was saying in the in the last video when, when I did it on the floor I was saying about this plastic um, this um, curtain side for the trucks from the trucks it's over there now you see folded up uh, we got two of them but they weren't big enough to cover the floor to cover the OSB now we did read up on the OSB it can get a little bit wet obviously but we don't want it drenched and uh, any of the water that does sit on the OSB will go through the cracks and fill up our our um, foil underneath and sort of make it sag and so we invested in some more plastic um, to cover the floor you can see that just to keep it dry we had to tape it all together the biggest widest stuff we could find was four meters so we had to buy three lots yeah but it's a beautiful day today no uh no nasty clouds in sight so we're gonna get uncovered and i'll show you what we got up to yesterday Yeah, this is how far we got yesterday with the two front walls. Um, they're really heavy, they're bloody heavy. Um, so we are leaving them laying down and hopefully we might get some uh, visitors <laughs> that we can uh, ask to help us lift them up. So this one, this side is finished. Obviously it's ready now just to stand up that way. But yeah, you can see, can't really, I can't see nothing in this sun behind me. Let me see if I can go. So yeah, these are our windows for the front of the cabin. They're just sort of off the shelf windows we haven't got the money to sort of start ordering custom windows so just sort of off the shelf 
windows. Um, this is how far we got yesterday with this one. Just uh, the last cut when my battery ran out. I did that. Uh, I made a mistake with this window seal. And uh, I didn't do the measure twice, cut once. <clears throat> but we can use that bit of timber for something else. So yeah, today, today get this one finished and then we're going to move on. Originally I wanted to do front walls, back walls first, but now I'm going to do these two front walls, which I said before are they are still the same as the original sort of design so I sort of add them in my head anyway but every other wall now I'm just freestyling <laughs> which uh, does that please you that I'm freestyling these walls yeah. now huh? <laughs> <laughs> window actually gave us a bit of a problem yesterday um, I don't know if, if you want to come closer I'll show you come closer probably better to come around this side because of the Sun so in um, in an ideal world I guess if all your timber is the same size this would be quite a straightforward process building the wall um, but uh, the timber is some of it's like 48 mil some of it's 52 some of it's 53 it's, it's not five it's not 50 mil like we ordered basically so this one here if you come and see look at the tape measure so I don't know if you can zoom in on that but you can see that one is I'm 53 mil but yet this one is only 45 mil so yeah it was causing me a problem yesterday obviously when you're doing your measurements you expect everything to be 50 mil it's quite straightforward to calculate but because this Obviously this um, fastens to the bottom with nails, but this piece has to go against this piece. The only way to secure it is against that piece. So what we was having to do is use the same piece of timber. Like originally I would have used off cuts for these small bits, but if I was to use off cuts, it would be a different thickness here this bit would be a different thickness and obviously that would squeeze our window space so what we have to do is nail it nail the piece we're going to use on the window opening and then we have to put this find another piece that's quite straight um, up against it and nail that one in place and then we have to take this one back off and do the same both sides some of them, some of these um, bits of timber, they are, they might be five centimeters at the bottom, but they're 53 in the middle and then 49 at this end. And it's just, it's causing me such a headache to get, you know, you're trying to build a house that's straight and square, but it's hard to do that when your timber is not straight and square. When it comes to our, like, uh, I don't know what these are called, there's a special name for them. Anyway, I can't remember what they're called right now. But again, like I was saying about the timber, on the original design, I had three in there because they're five centimeters, um, two inches thick by six inches wide, they're supposed to be. But you can clearly see that that's not a 50 mil gap in there. So I've just had to use two now for this, rather than three.
needs to be tied. So, day three of wall building. Um, this guy looks good over there, but this doesn't look too friendly up here. So, we're going to wait before we uncover everything. Hopefully, this will pass. It doesn't look too friendly. So, um, yesterday we got the front wall finished and we got a side wall finished so I know I said I wanted to do two walls a day but I think one and a half is more realistic for a noob like me um, and finding it quite tricky to work with this wood it will be in different sizes and stuff clouds I'm gonna stop play today building today. Far too wet. At least the veggies are getting a nice water. Day four of wall building. Yesterday was um it was really bad weather. It was raining all day like I showed you the clouds they came over and um, yeah we didn't get anything done well I did get something done it sort of cleared I got my first cuts after five o'clock last night I started um, but I was able to get one wall almost finished it was a late one for me like, it was getting dark the only reason I stopped was because I couldn't see my pencil lines anymore <laughs> but so day two we got this wall finished another front wall and this one which is a side wall you can see that there and yesterday i almost got this one finished it's only a small one it's where the front doors go in i just got four more cuts to make on these braces this side Um, this one's quite we've, we just tried to pick this one out and this one's quite light but these 5 metre lamps um, are really heavy so we're going to need some help lifting those I think running out of floor space to make walls um, I, mean, I said in my um, floor video that I had 8 walls to build I've actually got 10 two this side, two this side, so it's eight exterior walls and then I've got the big one that runs down the middle a sort of dividing wall that's going to run down here <clears throat> so that's another two five metre walls I've got to build um, so yeah we're just going to have a little shifty about today and see if we can make some space to make one more wall and then we're probably gonna have to think about getting them up. So, yeah.
Jack has a baby. That one. And not ours. Go and have a look at the view through the living room window. Yeah, I am about sure. to. Yeah. <laughs> Such a shame I can't go to the uh, through the front door. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, to wake up every day through this view. Five. Day five of wall building. One, two, three, four, five walls and they're up. Day six of wall building. Um, weather app says chance it was a rain today so not sure how much we're going to get done um, let me just show you it was all a bit of a rush yesterday because those guys came up um, they, um, there's a little building down here uh, this one they um, they make these little wooden pellets. Um, it's quite popular in Romania to have a, a boiler, a water boiler that you put these pellets in and obviously they burn and warm up, warm up your water. Well, they make those. Anyway, they popped up yesterday just to give us a hand lifting the walls. Me and Amelia did try, but we couldn't. As soon as we got it to a certain point, it just started sliding. So, yeah, that was nice of them to come and give us a hand getting the walls up. It was all a bit of a sort of a rush to get it done. I would just like to spend a bit more time sort of squaring up and whatnot, but there we go. I'll show you show you today. We're gonna do some more walls today. I'll show you today the technique that I use now. But we have to sort of cut every stud. We have to cut every stud a different length. I can only just see. So this stud is 234.5. This stud is 234.2. And that sort of varies, this one, 234.7. Um, just to try and keep that top plate at 245. So I found the simplest way to do it now get them all at finishing at 245, 2 meters 45 centimeters, is to get the two pieces of wood together. This one was really quite, I wanted to bend away so I just screwed it together for now. And then I literally have to measure this thickness and then minus that from the 245 and like I was saying earlier, about cutting every 
like a stud um, to fit. So here we're gonna have here we're gonna have a bathroom. This is where our bathroom wall is gonna interior wall is gonna connect to. Um, but yeah, you can see here it's actually thicker than it is just here. So this is actually two mil thicker in the middle of this piece of wood here. Or this piece could be two mil shorter, I don't know. But yeah, I found this the easiest way to do it. So I have to measure here. We've got 10.5. So 10.5 from two, four, five is two, three, four point five. Bay seven of wall building. Um, actually, no building. Bay seven. Are you doing laundry in the rain? Me doing laundry and I want to dry it <laughs> and it's raining again. Again. Um, we've got rain forecast until... Hey Lewis. When? When's the rain forecast till? Forever. <laughs> Forever. On the app. Uh, we haven't scrolled far enough through the months to Where see when this? there's no rain. So yeah, not much wall building going on today. Yeah. I did get an hour. Uh, we're having trouble keeping our OSB dry. Uh, it's becoming a problem, sort of going fluffy at the edges. Um, Amelia's gone out today and uh, given it a coat of stain. is out today yes well she give it a coat of stain around the edges um, the exposed stuff that's underneath the wall hopefully it will prevent some of the rain going in there but fingers crossed anyway I'm going in for a coffee and get dry Having trouble keeping the OSB dry. Mm. Um, I know you thought that Emilia's just got a new mop and wanted to test it out, but it's been raining now for a few hours. Um, I'm getting puddles appearing underneath in certain places. Obviously, we didn't have any real sort of waterproof tape. We just used this packing tape to stick it together because that's all we had but it's letting through water. So we've tried to sort of elevate the tape as best we can so the water runs either side of it. Um, but yeah, we just had so much rain today that we've just come out with the, try and clear some off. And um, we've already, we've already watered the polytunnel twice. <laughs> Up in the kitchen floor already. Ocean, no, bucket. don't tread in there, buddy. You stand still. This is my new bucket for my new house. Yeah. And I'm testing it on a plastic foil. <laughs> so, yeah, the thing we're dealing with is these. These pockets in, in the walls are uh, filling with water and sort of pulling the plastic away from the edge. What are you playing? Oh, no. Pirates. Oh, pirates? Yeah. But 
boat sinking, but... Your boat's sinking? Yeah. Oh no. Aye aye, Captain. Uh, but... I got two slavers to take the water out. Two slavers? Yeah. Ah, who's that, me and Mummy? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm catching fish. You're catching fish? Yes. Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry pirate. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't know if this is day 9 or 10, <laughs> or even 8, it's definitely not 8, um, so 9 or 10, this is day 9 or 10, it's just been raining, it's just been raining constantly, getting like an hour and a half in the morning, and then rain until like 6, 7 o'clock at night, so it's getting too dark to do anything, but uh, last time I spoke to you, day seven. I was building these walls on the floor. Um, we've managed to get those up and we've got the center wall that I was on about, the load bearing wall, I guess that is. Um, that's up. So now it's just this wall here to make for the exterior just to close this gap but I'm going to leave it till the end um, just because my timber's there and it's easy to get it in and out but yeah now these walls are up we've sort of I think last time I showed you uh, that we were having trouble with the OSB leaking so now we've sort of laid the plastic down like a carpet and we've elevated all the tape lines so hopefully it will stay much drier. Uh, we just went round the edges and stapled, stapled the edges all round. But yeah, so this is how far I am. Good morning. So I had a quick look back through the, some of the footage in there. Today, I can confirm, is day 10. Um, so, um, what to talk about today? The weather, I guess. Let's start with the weather. Yeah, let's get my ugly mug off here. There we go. The weather is looking good at the moment. Rain is forecast. Yeah, so let's talk about the cabin. So, uh, so previously, when I was talking about the layout of the cabin, we had a two meter bathroom, five meter kitchen, three meter bedroom. Um, <clears throat> sorry, before we, before I made these walls, I just laid some timber out on the floor, just sort of, so. Emilia could visualize it a bit better and um, she wasn't really happy with the size of the bedroom only being three meters so we stole a bit from the kitchen so now we've got a two meter bathroom four and a half meter kitchen and a three and a half meter bedroom so yeah that's one thing that I didn't say earlier also um, designing the cabin on the computer way back we actually had two bedrooms downstairs I think I mentioned it before we had we had two bedrooms downstairs and we had a sort of kitchen living room um, at the front and we changed that um, also when I 
designed it. I didn't really think. Yeah, so we had two bedrooms downstairs and the loft area was just going to be big enough for the children up there. Um, so the ridge beam was originally, I think it was just over two meters tall, which give you a lot of headroom in the middle. But I guess then with the pitch, um, you wouldn't have been there. It wouldn't have been much usable sort of space up there, walkable space. So, um, yeah, that's changed as well. We're now going for a three meter ridge beam. Um, but in doing that, um, my lengths, my five meter lengths aren't gonna be long enough. So we've had to buy a bit more timber. That got delivered yesterday uh, here. Um, I wish we'd bought all our timber off this guy, such a nice chap. Um, he's timber yard actually, we can pretty much see it from here. So his timber yard is there. Yeah, anyway. He always um, comes and sees us. He's, he's a bit like a, a sort of granddad figure. Um, and he wants to uh, help us. Anyway, he's, um, he's a bit new to sort of this light wood construction. And he keeps telling us how we should have used big beams and 20, 20, by, 20 by 20 beams and stuff. And it would have been a lot more solid and... I get that. That's how they do it up here in the mountains. But at the end of the day, it's just me and the missus. And these beams that I made at the bottom, they're only 15 by 20 and we couldn't lift them. So he's he's talking about like 20 beams of 20, 20, putting them across. He's supposed to have one at the bottom, one at the top for the roof. We would have got no way of getting it up there, so um, so yeah, anyway, he's done us this wood, and every single one of those is exactly the same size, millimeter perfect. Um, the thing is, when we got here, there's we had two lumber yards to choose from, uh, we got here 22nd of January. And um, yeah, this guy who we bought this from, he wasn't working. He closes down for the winter. So we only had one option. So we took it and obviously we got this stuff that's completely higgledy-piggledy in terms of measurements. Um, but yeah, anyway, he knows a chap. He knows a chap who is supposedly one of the best carpenters in town. Now, he's come in. He's come in here today at 8.30. And he's going to give us a hand. He sorted that out for us, which is really nice. Um, so he's going to give us a hand doing the roof. Now, the roof, it was the only part of this build that was sort of intimidating me a little bit I've never built a pitch roof and I know there's like the staircases angles involved and you've got to get them right and uh, I haven't got any tools to find an angle I was going to invest in uh, one of those speed squares um, to sort of find an angle but now this chap's coming. He's supposed to be a, a bit of a perfectionist. So I'm not sure what he's gonna say about my work already. Um, uh, he's probably gonna have a little giggle at this bit here. Very uh, unorthodox framing. Uh, this bit here. <laughs> you can see how it, it goes like this. 
is actually this one. I put this one in and then did my supports. You can see my supports, all my blocking. And then I realized uh, that I hadn't left, um, I hadn't put any stud work in for the bathroom wall. Now it's not, it's not a structural wall, it's only an interior wall, which is why I've just done it like that, rather than sort of try to take it all apart. It's literally something for the wall to hammer to. The interior wall will go on here, and then a little bit either side for my plasterboard or whatever I decide to do on that. So, <clears throat> um, but that was that was the only mistake I made. So, yeah, I can't be too hard on myself about that. So yeah, anyway, we've got some help. Um, today so I'll see if the missus can get some footage so the second top plate I was going to do that yesterday and I thought no this guy's a carpenter and he's a perfectionist and I do this second top plate he's just gonna probably walk away because all my walls are ending at 245 and I want my walls at 250 for the OSB and trying to find enough five centimeter lengths to do my second top plate is going to be uh, impossible so we'll see what sort of tricks up his sleeve he's got today for that hopefully he's got a few tools Day 11 of wall building, except um, we're not wall building anymore. We are onto the roof. So yesterday the, uh, the carpenter chap turned up. Um, nice chap called Marin. He was actually uh, He's actually quite impressed with the walls, coming from someone who'd never done anything like that before. And he was like, well, sort of, what, what do you want to help with the most? What? So I said the roof. And um, he was like, okay, let's get cracking. So uh, stuck a few more braces on the walls. You can see that, that he wanted to do. So um, they weren't wobbling and we could get up there it's safe um so he did sort of talk me into changing the roof design um originally i was going to have my rafter coming coming down with a bird's mouth cut sitting on top of my top plate second top plate right there he said no this this way will be stronger so he um so what we've done now is we've extended the roof joists they were long enough anyway no, not the roof joists sorry the ceiling joists the floor joists we've extended those out for our overhang and then the rafter will sit on top of that that will give us a bit more height at the ridge beam um, so now the the roof is like a separate it's not separate, it's just 
is just like a roof sitting on top of the walls rather than the raft is sort of pushing the walls out um, like it would have done with my design obviously the the floor joists would have been my rafter ties and everything but this gives us a bit more height and you know this guy's probably carpenter for 25 30 years and so I did sort of I've just watched a few YouTube videos you know so we went with his experience his knowledge so yeah um, so this is probably the end of wall building video um, even though the walls aren't finished we still got to put the OSB on we still got to wrap it and stuff but that's something I can do just me and the missus can do that so yeah we did have rain yesterday about six hours of rain um, and there is rain forecast for today a hundred percent chance of rain at half past eleven today so we're up nice and early um, Marin the carpenter he's gonna bring a couple more boys with him today that he knows just to get this roof hopefully we'll get the roof on by the end of the day so uh, so I think I'm gonna end this video here and then um, yeah well I'll do another one on the roof and just sort of finishing off the outside otherwise it's gonna be really long Thank you.